Todd here. Welcome to the All Things Adobe podcast. In this movie, we'll talk about one of the coolest new features in Flash CS3, and that's the ability to skin components directly in your FLA file. So you don't have to hunt down some hidden FLA file and tweak a bunch of stuff. It's pretty much the hardest thing in the world, other than calculus. So this is really cool, a really cool feature, and we'll learn how to do it in this movie. If you're following along, create a dynamic text field. Or you can actually use any component you want, but this one I want to use a scroll bar. So I got a dynamic text field with a ton of text, and it's in a small area. And I have right clicked or control clicked the text field and selected scrollable, given the text field an instance name, set it to multi line, and I have a scroll bar component, so you can get that from the components panel by going to Window Components and by dragging UI scroll bar right on the stage. When you have the scroll bar on the stage, select the scroll bar, click the parameters tab, and for scroll target name, put it in the instance name of your dynamic text field. So that might have been a mouthful, so you might have to rewind and watch it over again and just pause, catch up, all that stuff. So I'll let you do that for a few seconds, and then we'll move on. Are you done? Okay, great. Let's do this. To edit a component, all you have to do is double click the component on the stage. And this is ridiculously cool, folks. I am going to... Just pull down the Properties Inspector a little bit. I'm going to hold Space and click and drag on the stage to pan around to see how Flash has set this up for me. This is ridiculously cool. This was never before seen in any previous version of Flash. Look at this, up, over, down, disabled. Flash has laid it all out for you so it's nice and clear and you can edit components very easily. I'm going to do two things. These are quick edits. Everything else takes a little bit more time, and, but once you see how to do the basic edits, you'll know how to do the more advanced edits. First thing I want to do is modify that arrow. I think the arrow is a little bit lame. So what I'm going to do, honestly, I don't think the arrow is lame. I'm just saying that for the sake of this video. Anyway, go to the zoom tool in the toolbar and just click and drag a selection rectangle around the little arrow component. Go to the selection tool, and if you select the arrow and just double click it, you'll go inside of a movie clip called Scroll Arrow Up, Up Skin. Select the little arrow on the screen, and we'll just double click it. And then now I'm inside of a movie clip that's inside of a graphic symbol. It's actually really hard to see because my resolution is so small. But I'm inside of a movie clip, there's a movie clip called Arrow Icon that's inside of a, the graphic symbol for the scroll up arrow. If you double click that movie clip, you'll get into a vector shape. And that's exactly what we want. So we want to have this big, cool vector shape. You got that okay? Great. Now what I'm going to do is select this vector shape. This is the arrow. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to grab the brush tool. I'm going to grab my uh, dark red, the All Things Adobe Podcast official red. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw an arrow right like this. I'm going to fill it in with the paint bucket tool and I like that I might just grab a few of the sides and pull them in so it looks a little bit cooler. And that looks great. Something like that. It doesn't need to be perfect, we're just learning how to edit components. So I drew this cool looking arrow on there. Now what I'm going to do is test the movie by pressing Control Enter or Command Return on the Mac. Check out that sweet arrow. And that is ridiculously cool. So we have a custom arrow. We've successfully skinned the component a little bit. And now I want to skin that gripper and I want to turn it into a lightning bolt. Why? Because I think lightning bolts are pretty dang cool. So I'm going to go back to scene one, double click the scroll bar on the stage, and make sure you're zoomed out enough. The keyboard shortcut is really cool. Control or Command 2. That'll zoom you out so you can fit everything in your visible area. And then I'm holding space and clicking and dragging to pan into the right area. And now what I'm going to do is just zoom in on the little gripper area. So I'm going to press Z on my keyboard and zoom right in to the little lines that are the gripper. I'm going to double click. I'm going to keep drilling down until I find a vector shape. And hey, hey, that was really easy. Cool. And now I'm going to turn this into a lightning bolt. So I'm going to select one of the bars at the top. And using the free transform tool and some skills, I create a sweet lightning bolt. Something like that. And then for the last little thing down, I'm going to hold Alt or Option on the Mac 
and drag to create a copy of the last little bolt area so I can extend it a little bit. Something like that's pretty cool. I approve of that lightning bolt. I'm going to select the shape on the stage, change the color to a sweet lightning bolt yellow. This is going to be hard to see because it's so light, so I'm going to put a stroke on it. To put a stroke, I'm going to select the ink bottle tool in the toolbar. I have black for my stroke color. I'm just going to click. And wow, that looks really terrible. So I'm going to use the selection tool. I'm going to double click that stroke. I'm going to set the stroke height to 0 0.25 in the property inspector. There we go. There's a cool little outline for my lightning bolt. Now, test the movie and check it out. Control Enter, Command Return on the Mac. And there is my sweet little lightning bolt. That's actually hard to see with the stroke. Maybe I should just delete the stroke. I'm going to closing the preview window, double clicking the stroke. And then I'm going to test the movie. That's kind of hard to see, but there is definitely a sweet lightning bolt right there. Maybe you could select it and just scale it up with a free transform tool. That might work. There we go. That's a little bit cooler. There's my lightning bolt. Anyway, moral of the story is you can skin components very easily now in Flash CS3. So there's a look at how to do it and just be creative and try it out. Have fun.